me stalling because I don't know how to start this video. All right, what is up, guys? Today I'm going. To uh, but, uh, uh, what is up guys, today I'm going to be installing Rally Armor mud flaps on my G37 and no, not typical at all, I don't think I've ever seen this done before, but I got these as a gift, so I thought I might as well put them on. Um, worst comes to worst, if I don't like them, I can just take them off, but I mocked them up, they look pretty cool, so I thought I might as well just do them, since they're not going to cost me any money, and might add a little nice touch, I don't know. With my wheels, offset with my wheels, they spit stuff up on the side of my car hopefully if these these will protect it have some function and they'll, hopefully they'll look cool so let's put them on so let me show you guys what i'm talking about when i talk about the wheels spinning stuff up on the side of my car right here my wheels you can see they have a little bit of negative camber and that camber is just enough so that when the wheel when there's like dirt and stuff on the that the, the car drives and there's dirt and stuff it spits stuff up onto the side of the car right here and it doesn't look good and so hopefully the mudflaps will protect it well i know they'll protect it but hopefully it'll look cool too so so basically what the plan is to like i'm going to take the mud flap put on the top of this piece of cardboard and line it up and then draw an outline with a sharpie and then take them into and then mock them up right there one good thing about this is that it already has pre-existing like holes and screws and stuff right here so i'm gonna take the wheel off from front and back on both sides mock them up and see if, uh, where i can line them up and to use these holes and then i'll Cut them out on the cardboard and then see if they fit. If I like how they look, then I'll just I'll put the cardboard on the mud flap and then drill those holes and then hopefully that it should be working. I just use one piece of cardboard for the front and then one piece of cardboard for the rear for both sides. I just flip them. And hopefully this turns out good. Let's see. Hopefully I don't run into any problems, but who knows? So the cutout turned pretty freaking good. Now it's just time for Jack the car up, take the wheels off and mock it up and see where our holes line up. So these are the screws I was talking about before, how it's these pre-existing ones. And I'm gonna use these three, but I'm gonna try to find something that I could bolt on or maybe do like a self-tapping like over there or something. But for now, I'm just gonna try to see, use these and then see where that gets me. Right now, I'm just using a Phillips head to remove the little screws because how they're in there, yeah. I don't want it hanging too low or too far out. I don't want to scrape on everything, but I don't want it like far in where it's like the really cool thing. Now how I'm gonna find these holes is a good, a good freaking question. Another thing too is to make sure I don't want it to like angle out. I want it to be straight up and down. I'd say right there is pretty good. To me, it looks pretty straight. I hope, I don't know. Also, I want to point out how this cardboard look, look her name's Emily. She's sleeping. She has a pet sheep. She looks so comfy. I'd buy that bed. My way of finding the holes, kind of just looking through here and poking and make, hoping I get it right. I get it. Oh, let's go. You know, I don't know if that's too little. I don't want it being crazy far out, but I don't know. Call a friend. I'm gonna call Joe and see what he thinks. Xavier. Might be at work though. Did you just wake up? Good morning. Like I don't want it to get out way too far, but it's the cardboard. Yeah, that's good. Are you just saying that? No. So I just what the hell? Oh look at Emily. So I made my holes and I mean I, those two are good though that's not a problem but this one I kind of messed up it was kind of like a few tries so I'm at when I put it on the actual mud flap I'm gonna have to guess and hope I get the hope I get the right one we'll see I don't know hey. I don't know why I took the camera off the tripod I need to go put it back but now to get the sharpie draw out the holes punch them put them on the car hey, Emily and the most important thing is that I line it up correctly because if I don't then I could just kind of screw everything up
So now I'll have my holes, and now it's time to punch them and then mount. This is scary thunder. <laughs> So I screwed it on and put the car down. Let's see how it looks. And I realized that looks freaking stupid. Mainly because it's that it's like angled away instead of out. So it literally will not do anything. So I'm gonna see if I can unscrew one of them and then make it look straight. Just to mock it up and see if I like it. So let's see how that goes. And as you can see, I was an idiot and I tried to get it parallel to the body of the car, which is dumb because then it'll it'll slant this way. So I gotta have to just poke it out and get it just straight with itself. The way it is right there looks perfect so I'm gonna try to get that grab another piece of cardboard and try that so I made a new hole and I realigned it and with the car on the ground and the wheels uh that's pretty good right there it's not bent any other way it's pretty straight and it's not sticking too far out and I take the mud flap off and then grab another one and then make the same holes and just reverse it for the other side probably lined up well but I'll show you guys after I do that it's not gonna show me making the holes and punching them because you guys already saw me do that and it's really exciting but I'm not gonna show that I'll see I'll show you guys what the next wheel looks like so I just finished the two front wheels. Here's the passenger side. Here's driver side. Um, they look pretty good. I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I'm like. I'm not like super stoked. I'm like, holy crap, they look so good. So we'll see. I'm gonna do the rears and then see how that turns out. You guys saw me doing the front. I'll show a little bit of it for the rear, but it's pretty repetitive, so I'm not showing all of it. It's just if you know how to do one, you can do them all. Okay, so I just finished putting on all of the mud flaps, and they look really good. Uh, the backs went a lot easier than the fronts because I just used the same piece of cardboard and put them on. I'll show you a quick peek right here. Those turned out really good. I'll show you guys what they look like outside. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more of my videos and comment what you thought. Um, I think they look pretty cool. I'm going to run with them for a few days and if I don't like them, I can always take them off. So It was a lot harder than I expected, so if you are going to do this, just be ready to have some work ahead of you. It's not super hard, but it is kind of time consuming just getting the holes right and everything since they are the universal ones. But anyway, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.